Hey guys, this is Adrich. I just want, to, want you to show how Legacy of the Void is still a little bit broken. Uh, I'm just going to show you how my almost no army and a planetary fortress destroys almost all my opponent's army. So, uh, right now, just to show you, I have two bases, only one mining base. My opponent has five. I, I just destroyed one of my opponent's base. He's going actually to take revenge right now. The thing is that I don't have. I only have 29 army right now. My opponent has 108. He's going to be destroying his army, so this planetary fortress will uh, give some damage to my opponent's base. I'm going to start. I'm uh, sorry to keep continuing. Creating liberators right now. I have two protecting, a third coming. So I have three turrets. I'm going to build a fourth, I think. And well, get my ACV sweeper and this little amount of armies to defend against 110 arms. So okay, right here, okay, this base of course is going to fall down. There's nothing that I can do. I'm just going to be going down towards this base. So right now you can see that it's 126 armies my opponent. Um, uh, keeps getting bigger, 130, against just 36 of army and a planetary fortress. Now, here comes the beginning of the attack, my opponent has 130, he's creating a lot of corruptors. And well, this is how my opponent's army gets wrecked by the Liberator. Some marines and a planetary fortress to my opponent's army. He, right now he has 48, he already built I mean, like 10 more corruptors and like 10 more hydralists, so I almost destroyed all his army. So, 3 liberators, some marines, and a planetary fortress to heal over 100 of my opponent's army. And some SCVs preparing. So, I just want you to show how OP is. And right now, a little bit the liberators, I mean, they have to be put in a very good position so the Hydralists don't destroy them. But well, I just wanted to show you this guy. So, this is Edrich, and I'll see you next time.